If only I could get everything in just one bag. Guys, if you like that intro, leave a like. That was a fun, fun thing to film. Anyways, traveling, I love to travel, but one thing I hate about traveling is having multiple, multiple bags, and I like to travel with just one bag. That is always my goal. The most minimum payload that I can have on me is what I go for. If I could travel with nothing, I would, because I hate carrying anything. So I always try to avoid having to carry multiple bags. Why do I do this? One, it's way easier to carry everything. If you have multiple bags, it's so hard to move around, it's so hard to put your stuff everywhere and the space just gets taken up wherever you're going. And two, it is way cheaper. Like if you're traveling on a plane, if you have to check a bag, that costs a lot of money. Or even a carry-on. Carry-on costs money. A personal item though is free. So if I'm on a plane, I always try to minimize it as much as I can to make it a personal item. So these two bags have got to go and I have to just stick with the one bag. And this bag, I've made my personal item several times on a plane and it's perfect. Now I know what you're thinking. Duh, Levi, what's so special about having everything on a personal item? Well, let me answer that question. Not only do I bring my clothes, my toothbrush, you know, a uh, hair dryer or whatever, I also bring all of my camera equipment, or a lot of it at least. So that's two whole bags, my camera bag and my clothing everything I need bag. That is two. Well, let me tell you, that is my least favorite thing to do. I'd rather travel across the Sahara Desert with no bags than on a plane with two bags. Trust me. No, I'm just kidding. But anyways, how do I get around this? I asked myself, what would a minimalist do? <laughs> they would just combine the bags and make it a lot smaller. I turned my camera bag into an all-in-one type of bag. Now, this also means you have to pack wisely like a minimalist as well. Well, that's the fun part. So let me show you how I do that. So we got here a typical camera bag, pretty big, but it does fall under the dimensions for a carry-on bag. So no checking this bag on the plane. Anyways, let's make this quick. Lens, lens, cage, mic, monitor, cable, ND filter, bag of batteries, chargers, and hard drive. This is all the camera gear I'd normally take on a trip that's not a business trip. As you can see, there's still a lot of room. Now it's time for the clothes. Let's just say this is a typical three day, you know, weekend trip somewhere. I don't like to pack a lot of extra things. I'm only gonna pack really what I need. And how do you do that effectively? I think if you have a general idea of what you're gonna be doing, you'll plan out your clothes for what you'll be doing. So I kind of have a general idea of what I'm gonna wear and what I'm gonna need instead of just frantically packing everything the night before and hoping I have everything that I need and packing a ton of extra stuff, you know, for those just in case. I don't really have a lot of just in case stuff, maybe an extra pair of underwear, but what I pack is what I need. Remember, the outfit I'm wearing does count as well, so that's even less. Let's start with the clothes now. Three shirts, one pant, <laughs> four socks, four underwear, and swim trunks, because who doesn't love to swim? Starting to fill up, but we still got room. Now on to the other stuff. Deodorant and cologne, bathroom junk, hairbrush, and computer. That's it, there's the bag. Boom, everything you got is in this bag. Everything I need for my little trip. Now, this is a little bit flexible. If I needed to pack an extra book or a towel or anything a little bit extra, you can. You can switch out some things and you can just make a little bit more room. But the point is, this thing is overly stuffed. Make this bag to suit your needs. Traveling with one bag is my favorite. I don't have to carry anything. This thing can go in my back and I don't have to hold anything. And I never have to worry about losing it on a plane because it's not checked. It's always right there with me. And whenever you get to wherever you're staying, you can just unpack all your clothes and now you got a camera bag and you can go out and shoot and do whatever and you don't ever have to carry around your clothes anywhere, you can just unpack it all. And whenever you're good to go, you just pack it all back up in this bag. Let me tell you people, this is the best way to do things. Now, I know what you're thinking again. 
Uh, Levi, have you thought about any other trip than just a three-day trip? Great question. Let me just answer that again. Of course, this is not going to work for every single trip. Some trips you have to pack a lot more stuff and the trip is a lot longer. Or if I'm going on a business trip specifically, I'm going to have to pack all my camera gear and there's going to be multiple bags. But that's for business, not for leisure. This is just the typical every normal type of trip that most people do, including myself, I do this most of the time. I travel this way most of the time. Now, could I last a whole week in this bag? I think I could. A whole week in this bag if I pack wisely and sparingly, I'm pretty sure I could get everything I need in this bag for one whole week, which is awesome. And that's the perks of packing like a minimalist. <laughs> Anyways, I hope this video helps. I always see people packing way too much stuff and they're always stressed about it and packing last second and just bringing everything and not needing all that stuff. So if you just focus on what you really need, you'll find out it's not all that much. If you enjoyed this video and want to support me, hit that red subscribe button. I would love that so much. Anyways, next week I'll be dropping another tiny house tour video from way down south. It is super cool and I'm really excited for it and I'll see you guys on Tuesday.